tell me about your film that you have here in the festival. It's, um, I, I, I'm, first I have to say that I'm delighted to be talking with you, especially because I, you're so beautiful. And, and then to find out that you're one of my favorite friends, uh, a daughter, Doug oh, McClure. Oh, that is so sweet of you to say. How lovely that the, that the talent continues on. In, oh, uh, she's going to make me cry. Thank, I mean that. Thank you thank so, you. so very much. I mean it sincerely. Um, here uh, we're doing a film. Uh, it's called Lady Magdalene's. And um, I am Lady Magdalene. And it's a comedy, suspense, thriller, action film. That's a lot. That's <laughs> wonderful. And you sing so beautifully. Oh, and with music. Oh. Yeah. Well, Maggie is ready for anything. Get ready. Come on and come on. Uh, Maggie's back in town. What can I say? I am standing next to a legend in the in the industry, very very talented and funny man. Of course, it's Dick Van Dyke. I have to confess a little something to you. The biggest thing that I loved about you was when I was growing up is that fall that you did over that chair. Yeah. Now tell me about that. Was that your idea? Of course it was. Uh, yeah, Carl. I like to fall down. Carl used to write it into the show. Said, so, you know, <laughs> let me have fun. <laughs> that was such a good job, and you're such a talented actor, and I love you and all the works that you've been doing. Now, what what do you have going on recently? I've been doing a lot of fundraising lately for some reason, for a lot of charities around. You know, it's that time of life when it's payback. <laughs> yeah. You go out and do what you can, and uh, I go out and sing and dance uh, for my supper and have a good time. <laughs> well, tell me about your charities. Is there any particular one you want to mention? Well, uh, the, the Midnight Mission downtown, Skid Row, I've been with for about 10 years now, and we just built a new one. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, we, we you know, clothes and feed and house, but we also... Of educate and sober up and put back into society. Oh, that is fantastic. <laughs> and what the problem we're facing now is that with the, the foreclosures, millions of foreclosures, we've got families on the street yeah. with no place to go, you know. So yeah. it's like a tidal wave, and we need all the help we can get. I'm going to be able to uh, give some awards, present some awards tonight, yes. Yeah. Oh, well, fantastic. And I'm sorry. You're, this is Marvin Page. Page. Yes, I yeah. apologize. Studio actors, Bruce Garrick. Hello. 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 I like when he says young. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. How are you? How are you? you? And you all are here to honor Carl, or there's other... You're, you're just to be with <laughs> I know, because... <laughs> I got to tell you, wait, we got to get a wide shot of this. Can you... guys. Say that again. My guys. My <laughs> men. Yes, well, my guys. Three at a time. Now, that's pretty the, good. This that's is wonderful. the way to go out on the town. I'm telling you right now. You're here to honor Carl, I understand. Yes, she's my ex-father-in-law. So I thought I should come and say hi. He's a great man. And I love him. This year, the Backlot Film Festival honored the legendary Carl Reiner with the prestigious Thomas Ince Award for his contributions to the entertainment industry. My show, The Tony McClure Show, is an entertainment news show that goes behind the scenes. And what we're really interested in is the making of films and new and up and coming filmmakers and actors and models and whatnot. So I think it's wonderful that you're here being honored, the two of you. It's really a spectacular Well, I'm, a, I'm an expert at whatnot. And whatnot. So, so if, if you got anything to do with whatnot, I'm, I'm your guy. Well, you know, I'll tell you something. There's a lot of whatnot in this yeah, show. <laughs> and if he doesn't know it, she's got a, she just found out about Ince, all about Ince on this little You know where pilot. we are here, the Thomas Ince? The Thomas Ince Award. I, you know, of course I do. I had to and look you, it up. And do you know what happened to him? No. Okay. You, okay, I'm busted. I didn't know. Will you well, tell me what well, happened? Well, there was a rumor that he had been shot on board a boat owned by William Randolph Hearst, but it turns out it's not true he had a heart that he had a, some kind of heart condition and the doctor who was on board the boat said he was complaining of pains in his heart and then later in the day or later in that week he had a heart attack and died, Just 42 years old. Charlie, so, Chaplin boat as well, right? Charlie Chaplin was on the boat, had nothing to do with Thomas H. Inch's death. <laughs> well, congratulations. You. Are you really, you must be excited. This is a nice I honor. I have never been more excited in my <laughs> yes, life. Yes, I love that. I love that. <laughs> oh, yes, the day he was born. Yeah. That's about it. That's the two yes. things. Yeah. The Thomas Ince Award is named after... 
Thomas Ince, who was one of the most influential figures in the history of American film. He introduced the production procedures and quality standards that have helped mold the distinct image of Hollywood films to this day. Thank you so much. I'm honored to be here. I hope I can entertain you. The winner of this category is Pencil Fighting. Executive produced by Andrew McGrin, Franco, Montello, and Carla Jimenez. Directed by Joe Rojas. is guilty but not a murder. Executive producer William C. Deere, producer John McGrady, directed by Bill Smith. Assistant directors Chad Smith and Phil Thompson. Accepting the award is William Deere. Congratulations to the winner. Two winners, La Cucina, and Yesterday Was Alive. Dr. Gina's executive producer, Scarlett Evans Smith, producer Scott Kahn and Jack Wilson, directed by Allison R. Heppel and Zed Starkovich, written by A. W. Warfarm. Okay, Yesterday Was Alive, executive produced and starring Chase Masterson, written and directed by James Curley. getting to honor the man I love most in the world. Uh, he tells a story. Yes. Uh, he tells a story. Uh, I don't remember this, but he tells it about when I was about seven or eight years old. Uh, I went up to him and I, and, I, and I said to him, Dad, I want to change my name. And he thought, oh my God, this poor little kid is so worried about having to live up to, you know, a big star like, you know, what? He says, well, what do you want to change it to? And I said, Carl. <laughs> and and I've, I've felt that ever since. I've always wanted to, I've always looked up to him. I've always wanted to be him. Uh, he was like, a, you know, not only my dad, but, you know, the nicest person in the world, and uh, he was, you know, Dick Van Dyke is sitting here, he'll come up in a second, but he'll remember when I was 13, 14, 15 years old, and I was uh, totally fascinated by what my dad did, I would go down and, 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 and hang around the Van Dyke show every, uh, every summer. I spent every single day down there, and my dad was, you know, I'm sure I was a pain in the ass, and he didn't mind, he let me watch, and that's where I learned, at, you know, literally at his knee and his elbow and at his brain, uh, how to do what you do, and, and I've taken all that. I also got to pinch Mary Tyler Moore by the ass, and, ass, and that was a bonus, a good thing, so a lot of good came out of that uh, experience there at the Van Dyke Show.